Hey guys, so after testing another brand last week that had awesome specs on paper, but in reality it turned out to be nothing but false advertising, and I decided to return it for a full re refund, but unfortunately that left me with no pressure washer. I then happened to see my neighbour who had a Karcher K7 compact, and he had been using that for the last six months, so I decided if I could borrow it for a few hours to do a little bit of testing. I figured if any pressure washer had real specs on their plates then surely the cartridge would be right up there uh, with the true values that it was stated. And spoiler alert, the cartridge definitely didn't disappoint. So here in Australia we've got a voltage of 240 volts uh, nominal and single phase and according to labour under this 17.6 uh, kilo yellow beast we are looking at around 2200 watts of raw power. Uh, from my limited experience in researching online, uh, it seems that believing that the maximum ratings of any of the pressure washers that I've come across is pretty much just like believing in the two fairy and the unicorns. So we can throw out all the uh, maximum pressure and maximum flow rates out the window because I don't think we can believe any of these. It's quite possible that these maximum ratings um, might be due to the fact that they, they put these ratings on so that way um, you don't block uh, sorry you don't crack the blocks or, or do any real damage on the internal parts um, so that might be the real reason but uh, quite happy for anyone to let me know in the comments below um, anyway we're going to be working on the 13 megapixel uh, megapascal ratings and we'll see that equates to 1885 psi um, so we're going to begin with uh, removing the quick connect fitting that comes on the catcher i did find it was really tight to begin with um, this is probably the second attempt uh, you can try putting a rag over it and using a wrench to uh, put over the rag, over the plastic fitting and then unscrew it. Um, we just keep unscrewing until we get to the opening and voila what do we find? Uh, an M22 threaded fitting with a 14 millimeter um, o-ring prong inside which is pretty much the standard of most pressure watches that I've seen out there on the market today. Um, there are also a 15mm uh, version which normally comes on the Chinese versions. Uh, so what we'll do is we will screw in our adapter which goes to a 3.8 quick snap fitting. Uh, this high pressure gauge I bought on Amazon um, and that seems to be pretty good. It comes already equipped with the male and female 3.8 quick neck fitting. Uh, we then put in the female quick connect fitting with the 14mm uh, internal diameter and lucky us, the one that we just took off, off the original unit, we can screw back onto the top of it. And if you notice it keeps spinning, 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 but I did off camera turn it off, uh, screw it in properly. Uh, one thing to note is that once you connect everything up, uh, it doesn't have to be uh, tight as in all the threads. Pretty much hand tight is good enough. The O-rings will seal uh, all the fittings and really the O-rings are the ones that are doing all the work, not the actual thread themselves. So we'll connect the water hose, which when I tested previously I was getting 20 litres a minute out of that hose. Um, we've plugged that unit into a wattage or amps tester which will tell me voltages. So my nominal there was 237 volts. Uh, we turn on the tap. We then run the line to get all the air out of the system. I think I ran this, so I had to run it for just about over two minutes just to get all the air out of it. Once I got all the air out of it, I attached the turbo head nozzle that comes with this unit. And uh, just testing that, I could see I was around 16 psi. 
not high enough. Um, 1600 PSI, looks like it was pulling 8.8 .8 amps. Uh, I did have another lance and hose which has got a quick fitting. So the advantage of having this kind of setup is literally just unplug it. But no, 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 I made a mistake there because I realized that it's still under pressure. So let's turn the unit off um, without tripping over myself and all the hoses that I've got here because I almost killed myself. Uh, we then turn off the water from the hose. Turn, turn, turn. Go back up the top. And uh, we need to release this pressure that's still in the system. And that's just simply just by hitting the handle. Gauge goes back down to zero, which basically says that the system has been depressurized. We can now uh, happily disconnect that fitting. We have a little bit of water splashing all over the place. We uh, grab the fitting from my other gun, which happens to be a Audi Special. Um, so we've stuck that on and now we are ready for testing with the lance that I've got which has got I think it's a quarter inch quick connect fitting on the end of it so we've got to remember to turn on the water pressure again because um, this line's been sitting for quite some time I will have to run this uh, with nothing on it uh, just to bleed that line and I ran that for uh, a few minutes as well but uh, now we need to find uh, a couple of quick connect fitting tips uh, that came with an Audi brand that came with an Amazon and if you notice the hole on that is absolutely huge so I thought I'll start with this just to see what um, pressures I can get out of um, something like that and uh, we'll give this a bit of a hit and what pressure are we getting now? I think I was getting under a thousand psi with that what's that? that's five, six, seven hundred psi seven hundred psi with something with a huge hole and that is going to give me just under 5.6 amps so no, not good enough so let's see, we'll, we'll try the, the zero degree nozzle which uh, has got a much smaller hole on it and uh, trying to do this one handed is, is a bit difficult but somehow I managed to get that on so let's give this a test Just under 1900 psi, which is perfect what I want to get to. Um, and I think originally we had 13 megapascals, which I think was just under the 1900 bar. We've got just under 2.2 watts, 2.2 kilowatts, I should say. And the amps were pretty much spot on. Our voltage is 232 and using an ohms loyal calculator 232 volts um, at 9.61 amps gives us 2.2 kilowatts so we're smack bang right on so the last thing left to do is now that we've got our nominal pressures uh, that's stated on the spec sheet it's pretty much time to check the flow rate um, excuse the uh, agricultural testing here but I was just excited and I just needed something to cover that bucket to stop all the splashing from happening. Um, so I'm just going to be quiet now because we're just going to start it with a one minute timer um, and that's just going to run for a minute. We go. Unfortunately yes I did not cover the hole properly, uh, I was getting a fair bit of water coming out of it um, but I was sort of thinking as well that you know, whatever water I lose will make up for the fact that uh, when I'm going to weigh this thing I'll weigh it with the complete bucket. Uh, 
so uh, give or take 100 grams I imagine. So I'll just be quiet now for the next 20 seconds. Set to go. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Almost there. Okay, so we've literally got a minute's worth of water in there. We better put all this stuff away before my wife comes home because if she sees all this mess, I guarantee you someone's going to get told off. Lucky last. Then I had to run upstairs because I realised. I didn't have a scale. So I ran upstairs to the bathroom, grabbed the scale and come back down, put the bucket on and we are measuring 8.1 kilos which from uh, looking online, uh, converting that, it's pretty much one to one, 8.1 kilos, 8.1 litres and uh, the spec sheet says 8.2 so you know what, I'm really happy with that. I've decided to buy myself a unit um, and here it is uh, all in its glory and I just can't wait to plug everything into that and uh, wait for all the rains here in Sydney to stop raining and that way I can actually uh, start cleaning my driveway. Anyway guys I hope this was uh, really informative uh, it just shows that you know brand names um, I think they like to keep their reputation and uh, spec sheets on brand names are probably uh, what you should be looking at. Uh, Chinese uh, crappy units that are half the price of the catchers, I guarantee you are nowhere near uh, truthful about their specifications and from my early testing I definitely wasn't happy with most of them. So good luck. Hopefully uh, your Karcher experience is as good as mine. And uh, you never know, we might put out another video shortly. Anyway, have a good day. See ya.